I'm Will Knopfsinger with Dennis and Yachting, and today we're in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, aboard a 56 Absolute called Dare to Dream. Let's check her out. So on the back deck here, we've got a lot of traditional stuff you're gonna find on most yachts, but there's some subtle details that made this way more well thought out. So let me talk about a few of those. We've got an obvious hydraulic swim platform here with chalks that are integrated. That's nice because you can put different type of tenders on here without having to go out and buy expensive chalks and switch it up to a jet ski now and then when you want. So a couple other things to note on this swim platform that were pretty well thought out. I don't have teak here, so that makes everything a lot nicer when I'm sitting in here cooking. And it's also way easier on maintenance because this is the most difficult part to take care of when you do have teak decks. The other thing we got are Glendinning Cable Masters, so you can take your shore cords with you everywhere you go. Starboard side, we have a passerelle that pops out here. That's really cool for when you need it to get on and off the docks, but it also is in a nice spot for kids to use as a diving board. And if we head over here to the port side, we've got access to the crew through this door. They did a lot of nice things in here. It's a big space, and the current owner upgraded the bed, gives you storage below. I also like that this boat's equipped with a head that covers up and doubles as a seat, so it tucks away nice and makes the room feel a little bit bigger. Coming up here from the swim platform to the cockpit, you got a shower right here. You've got nice shade overhead, and you've got all the amenities to kind of cool off and chill out. Awesome little U-shaped seating area here. Teak table that was upgraded from the factory. Ice maker here on the starboard side. To either side, I've got cap stands, and they're perfectly located at waist height, so that comes in handy. Good Italian design is beautiful. Great Italian design is hidden, like this sun pad that unfolds and expands in ways like you'd never expect. Another great aspect of this cockpit is it does have a full enclosure that zips in and keeps you protected from the elements. When you're on a flybridge, it's a lot like a convertible feel. It's just an exciting place to be. You're way high up, you got the wind in your hair, and cruising this boat at 30 knots isn't anything short of exhilarating. Just came up the stairs from the cockpit here to the flybridge. And it's a pretty expansive flybridge. For a 56, you've got a lot more going on than you'd expect. Got a huge sun pad forward. And a nice big dining area behind me with tons of seating. Here in the aft section on the arch, we've got our radar and two sat domes. Starboard forward, we've got our upper home. It's got all your electronics you're gonna need that we'll talk about here a little bit later. Just behind that, we've got a little wet bar area nice fridge, and that continues back to those stairs that we came up earlier. We're stepping here into the salon through these massive double doors. When they slide all the way over, you get a huge amount of space that's brought in and also out. Having a galley centrally located is super strategic because you get all the functionality in this space if you need service as well as this space, and it makes it the center point, which is kind of how a condo is when you're looking at condos or when you're hanging around at the house making this the focal point, really awesome feature. That's complemented by this woodwork package with the oaks and the walnuts. So right here, we've got a dinette. It's got a folding table, gives you a little extra space, pretty simple. And then just underneath, we've got all the glassware storage. So we talked about how this is nice to have right here. Your galley servicing both indoor and outdoor. Right here, I got a freezer and fridge, nice wood paneling covering it. I got a cooktop, convection oven, and a sink with really nice countertops. Lastly, I wanna mention this window, which is nice for whoever's hanging out right here, but also the captain at the helm up here, which we're gonna check out later. As we come forward in the salon, we take a little step up, and we come to the area where you're gonna hang out most of the time. You've got a little seating area here on the port side, this is perfectly located adjacent to the TV that pops up on this side, so you can kick back and relax. Just under this love seat, we've got all the dishware storage. A little design element that's a really good feature because it drives me nuts when you have to hold a button. One touch for that TV to pop up, and you're done. Down there in the galley, we talked about how great the visibility is in this boat. That comes in handy here when you're the captain because you've got line of sight, 360 degrees, and you can see every corner of the boat. 
We also talked about how great design is hidden. And this right now is in the bolster position, but easily and manually, I might add, I can make it into a chair. So I don't have to push any buttons and there's nothing to break. So when I take a seat at this helm, obviously we've talked about the visibility being great, but everything also falls right to hand. I got two big screens from Raymarine here. They're both hybrid touches and all the controls I need to maneuver this boat. Here to starboard, I got the joystick from Volvo IPS. So this boat's super easy to dock. Another cool thing here on the starboard side, we've got an electric door that gives you easy access up to the bow. Up here on the bow, we've got our Chase style loungers that were upgraded at the factory. We've got a freshwater wash down so we can clean up our anchor when we pull it up. All our ground tackles here, they can be controlled from this location, the upper helm, as well as the lower helm. Back here in the helm, the anchor control is right here. Autopilot from Raymarine and Volvo Penta monitors so we can see all of our fuel burn in real time gauge our range, tell you how fast you're going, anything you need to know about these engines. When you're traveling and you're looking for a nice, peaceful place to put your head at night, a big stateroom is important. And I gotta tell you, this is probably one of the more elegant staterooms I've ever been on for a boat in this range. And the owner's favorite feature are these huge windows on either side. They're gonna give you some super peaceful moments to wake up to in the morning. Just four, we've got our makeup vanity with some storage and a well-hidden washer dryer unit. Continuing starboard, we've got a huge hanging locker for all your clothes, Samsung smart TV, and another huge window for all those nights that you're gonna spend aboard. Just forward to that, access to our head. Up here in the VIP, we've got a generous sized berth located center line. We've also got another Samsung smart TV and we'll take a second to note that every room is outfitted with a smart TV throughout the entire ship, and he's upgraded to an HD7 from KVH, so streaming HD TV throughout the entire boat is guaranteed. This room also has access to the head, located on the port side. And here to starboard, we've got the guest stateroom with two side-by-side -side berths and a hanging locker with a full-length mirror, which is pretty impressive for a stateroom like this. The last thing we're gonna check out on today's tour is the engine room. It's located here just before you enter the salon in the cockpit. Dare to Dream was specced out with upgraded Volvo IPS 800s. Top speed is reportedly somewhere around 34, 35 knots. We cruised all day today doing 25 and it was nothing. Located forward in this engine compartment, we've got a 20 kW Kohler generator. A really important fact to hammer home is this yacht's got really low hours. Her engine's carrying just 475 hours. They've also got warranty, and to find out more details, contact me. Thanks for joining us today on today's tour of this 56 Absolute Dare to Dream. If you'd like to see this yacht or any of the yachts that we have for sale, you can contact me anytime or my wife, Carrie. We'd love to have you aboard. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Italy's full of builders like this, so standing out from that crowd is very difficult. And these guys, I think, have done a great job. And if you look at their sales numbers in the last five years, it's progressed in an upward trajectory each time, something a lot of guys can't say.